Hey guys. The, um, the my Pajero's had a few mods recently and uh, I'll go into some of those at another time. I've come across the challenge of fitting a, this is an NP, and fitting a 33 inch 285 zero offset um, onto the spare wheel carrier. And I kind of didn't really want to make it higher at this stage, or at least that's my thinking. Um, who knows? But so I had seen that someone had put spaces down here and spaced it out at the bottom. So I kind of decided to try that option. And I did something maybe a little bit different in that by the time I'd taken off the interior trim, I really didn't want to have to do that again. And I thought, well, you know, different tyres, I might fit different tyres in future and this clearance down here might change. At the moment, it's, it's pinky with this tyre. Who knows what my other tyres are going to be like. Um... <clears throat> So what I just thought is, what I found is that an M12 will actually cut its own thread into this sheet metal. So I actually uh, sort of cut the thread and then I've set the bolt coming out from the inside. So it's actually threaded into this, you know, as much as you can into this kind of sheet metal, which has got some thickness, but you know, not massively. But uh, you get it sort of just as tight as you can and this won't tend to spin. You know, it hasn't spun on me at all yet. Um, now this is a nut just because I decided that was quicker and easier than using a heap of washers. Um, that doesn't need to be a nut, that can just be washers. Um, but now, basically by doing it this way, yes, I did have to um, get rid of this bottom stud. Now I'd say the bottom stud is there to, take, you know, to um, make it uh, theft proof. Um, now in Australia that's really not an issue in my experience for me anyway so I wanted to get rid of that stud now you might think it's a press-in stud like your, like your wheel stud unfortunately it actually seems to be welded in and because it's hardened yeah I actually um, put my press my press on it with a, a um, <clears throat> with a, a socket on the back of it which was a neat fit around it and you would think that there is only one way for it to go and that is off um, but it actually started deforming this sheet metal around the nut and I thought damn this is going to end up a little bit messy so I actually had to drill it out now because it's hardened you have to actually drill it out with the kind of drills I, I can't I always forget the name um, boron or something like that the drill bits that you might use for stainless steel so i had to center punch it pilot hole drill it and then that stud is gone and you've got this bolt which high tensile bolt which is poking out and um, so i can take this off change the amount of spaces take the spaces out completely and i can just tighten it back up and i won't ever have to take off the interior trim uh, as far as I can determine. And uh, well, that's it for that little um, episode. See ya.